Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cabela's, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, Hoyman Tree Saws, Muddy Outdoors, and Realtree. Hi, welcome to Midwest Whitetail. It's the evening of November 19th. It's our second day of our gun season here in New York. And we're sitting back in the hay bale line that we, uh, we sat this morning. So we're hoping to uh, take a few doe out of here. Get my dad hunting tonight and uh, one of my buddies. So if we could all take a doe, that would be great. We gotta definitely lower the numbers up here. Right now we got some turkeys working into the field. And uh, hopefully a little later we'll have some deer. So stay tuned. track jobs. So that's one doe. Actually that's two for this property. A bunch more to go. day of the PA gun season so the Orange Army is out already heard about three shots on bordering properties the first four days out here you can only shoot a buck so these people that are shooting are shooting at bucks unless they're illegally shooting a doe um, that rule went into effect I think maybe like four years ago so it's fairly new um, maybe some of the old-timers don't know about it but all those shots should be at bucks um, Sheree and I have split up for the first time in about five or six years that we've been hunting together. Um, we split and sat in separate places for the first time since then uh, because there's a big, big 10 point that'll probably go 150 inches here, which is really big for this area of Pennsylvania. Um, it's got a kicker off his back, G2, and we're just hoping one of us will see that deer today. We're on the outskirts of his his core area. Uh, we got per we got pictures of him last week over on the Warner property, which is about a mile and a half from here. So we think he lives in between, which we don't have we don't have permission on that piece. So we're trying to sit on this side because people are hunting the Warner property today. Try to keep people off this Dobson one because we're the ones with sole permission here. So hopefully he'll show his face, or if uh, if not, then hopefully he just makes it by all the other hunters and doesn't get shot here on opening day with 900 plus thousand hunters out in Pennsylvania. just had a mom and two fawns come out. They came running across the road, up into the driveway, through a little ravine here, and stopped for what would have been about 120, 150 yard shot. Um, 
was hoping a buck was what was chasing them, but I'm pretty sure the way they came across with their tail up and everything, that uh, it was a hunter that jumped them over there. So they are out, they're around us, and let's just hope the big one gets through and makes it to us. So it is the second day of the PA rifle season. Um, I'm sitting in a stand that I have not sat before at all this year. Uh, it's been kind of rough to get in here. The only time you're going to get in on it is a night sit. I think they bed on this hill, so if you can get in early enough on the evening sit, you should be fine. Um, turns out today we didn't get in here early enough. There's a little fawn in the field already. Who knows what else was back behind it because when it took off running, there were a few more deer that we could hear run back through these trees here behind me. But I came up here. I'm still filming again. Cherie went over the edge. Uh, she's only about 50 yards from me, but she's looking down in this valley that the deer use as a major travel corridor, especially during gun season, whenever they're getting pushed everywhere by so many hunters in the woods out here in PA. The weatherman's over too so far in the PA gun season. This wind is almost straight west, um, southwest at the least, and we needed it to be south how it said it was going to be the past two days. It's had a lot more west in it than, than we needed. So, weatherman, you're over two on the last two days, and we're hoping tomorrow brings a little better luck or something steps out here in the remaining hour, hour and a half that we have a light. Wednesday morning now. Um, last night I only saw a little fawn come out after we jumped those ones going in. Just I think it's the same fawn. Ended up coming back out. We left and tried to stock up onto another plot just on last light and there was nothing there either. So that's what we seem to run into here uh, after the first day of gun season is these deer are so scattered because there's people on all the edges of this property so they're not on any normal pattern anymore. And you're just trying to hope and go to an area you know they move through so you get lucky and, and see one of the big boys moving. But it is the third morning, um, right at first light, I had four to almost run me over. They either got kicked out of Smelter's property when they were coming in from that side, or uh, I don't know, I thought maybe a buck would be chasing them, but they came running through pretty hard and just kind of settled down and slowed up by me. So hopefully some more deer do that. And that big 10 point with the kicker off his G2 will make his way back through this little draw. Well, our time has come to a close this morning, and the only other deer that we saw besides those doe when we came in was uh, this little spike. He ended up bedding maybe about 50 yards, 60 yards from us. Took a little nap a few times, and uh, that was about it. So he just left. We're about to head out now and uh, get something to eat, and then head back out to the woods for this evening sit. So Corey and I haven't been able to sit together too much during gun season so far. This will actually be our second time sitting together. Uh, we've just been trying to see as much as we possibly can. Um, but we're on our way to the Warner property, um, a really good spot that we think the 10 point might come out. But ended up there's two cars already parked out front. So we had to turn around and go somewhere else. We're still on the other side of the Warner property. Um, our hopes aren't too high to see the 10 point here. 
there is the wide eight on this property so hopefully we'll get lucky and uh, one of these bucks that is on the Warner property will come by and I'll be able to get a great shot at it. So we ended up seeing three doe on the hillside across from us. Uh, they ended up feeding in the cornfield that's there, uh, but that's all that we saw tonight. Uh, no bucks came by, nothing else came by, so it's getting pretty dark now, so we're going to have to call it a night. Good morning, it's December 2nd, first Saturday of PA uh, rifle season. Um, got a beautiful morning, uh, got a light breeze here, uh, it's about 28 degrees. Uh, should be a good morning. It's the uh, first Saturday that uh, we're allowed shooting doe or buck. First week you can just shoot a buck. So uh, we'll see what happens, but uh, Weston Lee's hunting, so whatever comes by, adult doe or uh, any buck, he, uh, he's probably gonna take a shot at. So uh, we're uh, hoping for a good morning. We see a lot. Deer, 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 deer. No, look at the second one. Second one's coming. There. Back. Right there, sir. Did she fall? No. You might have. You might have. Right here. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. See her? She's way up there. Way up in that. She's going to hit the same opening. Back. Take your time. Got her. Oh, you roasted her, dude. <laughs> it's uh, first Saturday, PA gun season. Um, first week we can't shoot a uh, doe. First Saturday you're allowed to shoot a doe and a buck. Um, that would be Weston Lee's third deer. He's only eight. Uh, he, we're pretty sure he missed the first one and obviously got the second one. Uh, we'll probably uh, hang out here a little bit because he still has a buck tag. All three of us have a buck tag technically. So uh, we're gonna hang out here and uh, see if anything else comes in. Good job, dude. You wanna say anything? You excited? Congrats, brother. I love your brother. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, grandson. That's better. Yeah, yep. Yeah. You want to talk? You okay. want to talk? Um, what just happened, guys? I just killed my first deer. No, no I mean, deer, your first buck? what? I just killed my first buck. Look at how do you think it was? Uh, I think it was a four point. Uh, I think it's a spike. We think it's a spike. Well, we're I sitting here talking. Of course, he's, uh, he's dying to get down to go see his doe. And we said, we made a 8.45, 9 o'clock time. It's about 8.25. I turn over, look over, and there's a deer standing there. And we got ready, and it was a hard shot because the stand right on the other side of the log, you'll see in the video. And uh, yeah, he, he got it. We didn't hear it pile up, but he definitely hit the deer. So uh, we're gonna get down and uh, get rid of some of these clothes and go see if we can find these two deer. Good job, dude. Look at the ground, don't look for the deer. Look at the ground, follow the blood. Oh, oh, God. God. Hey bud, what'd you find? I got your back. Yeah, I did. Yeah, sweet. 
all the blood. Congrats, oh, man. Man, everybody gets a spike buck in Pennsylvania yeah, for the first smiled. year. Yeah, he smiled. He's smiling. Here we are. We found Weston's buck. It's his first buck. It's a pretty decent standard PA spike buck. Good buck for him. First one. Made a great shot right in the shoulder. Probably shot at heart and lungs that come out through the ribs. Uh, you excited, bud? Yeah. What do you want to say? Um. You love hunting? Uh, yeah. Did you have fun? You uh -huh. killed two this morning. You got another one to deal with, don't you? Uh -huh. Yeah. Good job. This is uh, Weston's fourth fourth deer in fourth, two years. Fourth deer in two years. He killed a doe last year in the mentor program. Uh, there's a three-day early season that he killed it in. This year he killed a nice doe in the early season. And then this morning we, um, just to get him some experience, we had a group of six or seven walk by and missed the first one but uh, dropped the second one in his tracks. He was dying to get out of the tree and me and Pap kept talking him into staying in the tree, staying in the tree and I turn around and here come the spike buck and he made a good shot. He actually uh, ran a whole lot farther than what we expected to for shooting him in the shoulder, but uh, still a uh, good shot. He's excited. Uh, we got a busy morning because we got two deer, so. Yep, two deer in one morning. What do you think? Man, she blood like crazy. Yeah, she did. Well, it's been a really good morning for Weston here in the Pennsylvania woods. He managed to kill the doe first early this morning and then killed his first buck, right, Weston? Mm -hmm. Good spike buck? Mm -hmm. I don't know how you're ever going to do any better than this morning. Two deer in one morning. So it's been a great experience with my grandson, my son-in-law, Jason, here in the Pennsylvania woods. So you get out and you see what you can do in your woods. Let's get this deer taken care of. What do you think, guys? Great day in the woods. <laughs>